Jesus is the answer for the world today. Good morning and welcome to Christian Pentecostal Church's Devotional Moment. I'm Reverend Dr. Brenda Bird. Would you turn with me to Proverbs chapter 11, verse 3? And we're going to be speaking about integrity this morning. While you're turning there, let's open in prayer. Father, we thank you for this beautiful, beautiful day. For this is truly the day that you have made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Father, I pray for each and every listening ear this morning that you would encourage their hearts, O oh God, as you remind us of the importance of integrity. In Jesus' name, amen, we pray. Proverbs 11.3 says, The integrity of the upright shall guide them. The integrity of the upright shall guide them. The Old and the New Testament clarifies to us that Integrity is God's highest priority for his people. The concept of integrity focuses on qualities such as honesty, humility, and diligence. One, God wants us to be a people of truth, for he is a God of truth. Jesus said that thy word is truth and that we are sanctified by the truth of God's word. So we must walk in truth and we must speak truth. So we should, must be honest people. Secondly, humility. Those of us who have been called in leadership or to serve God's people in any capacity should walk in humility, understanding that the assignments that we have been given are assignments that God has entrusted in us to be a light to those that are in darkness, but to also be an encourager to those that are in the light. That we are to be those who unite. That we are to be gatherers, not scatterers. And so Lord tells us in his word in Psalms 133, I believe it is, how important unity is. The Bible tells us that it's like oil that runs down from the beard, from the head of the high priest, down to the skirts of his robe. And it says there, when God sees the unity, he commands a blessing, eternal life. It tells us that blessed is he, those who dwell together in unity. It's not just the dwelling, it's being one in Christ in unity. So we do that as we walk in humility amongst each other especially those of us who are in leadership of any kind. And then he talks to us about another quality, diligence, that we are to be diligent in the assignments that the Lord has given us. We are to do them with excellence and we are to be diligent in doing them. As leaders, it's important that we walk in God's highest priority of integrity in being honest, being humble, and being diligent. The definition of integrity in the Bible emphasizes the importance of doing what is right, even when it is difficult or unpopular. It involves being truthful. It involves being reliable. It involves being consistent. Truthful, reliable, and consistent in one's words and actions. Many are talking the talk, but it's walking the walk that makes the difference. It's the actions. And so it is important that we understand that God is watching us. God has called us to a higher standard. And so before anyone go off any tantrum trying to figure out why I'm speaking about integrity this morning, is Dr. Bird angry with someone or is Pastor Brenda angry with someone? No, I'm not. But I do understand that God tells us it is important for us to redeem the time amongst those who do not know Christ, even as the time draws near. And so many people that I meet out in the community, in the street, and I try to talk to them about the love of Jesus and about the cross and all the sacrifice that he made for them alone, they always give me a story about church hurt. 
It is a shame that people come into the house of God, a place that is called the Holy Ghost Hospital, and get wounded and get hurt by those that are in authority. Why? Because they're either gossiping about them or they're making comments or they're just being mean. And this not, is not how it should be. This is not what the Lord wants us to do. He wants us to show the love of Christ, the agape love. He wants us to be demonstrators of love, even to those that come in and even more to those that's in the house of the Lord. The Lord tells us that those people on the outside will know that we belong to him by the love we show to one another. So when you're gossiping about someone, when you're criticizing someone, when you're not doing what you're supposed to do because you're too busy watching and trying to find errors that someone else is doing, you are totally out of order. Whether you are in leadership or whether you are sitting in the pew, God expects all of us to walk in the quality of his highest priority, which is integrity. Proverbs 10 9 says, whoever walks in integrity walks securely. When you're a woman or a man of integrity and you're not one who gossip, that you are not one who pull others down, that you are not one who discourage others, that you are not one who try to find fault with others, you can walk securely. You can walk in peace. You can walk in victory because you know that you're living according to the word of God. But when you're gossiping and talking about others and discouraging others, then you should not feel secure because God is not pleased. So again, Proverbs 10, 9 says, whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but whoever takes crooked paths will be found out. God will always expose those who are saying they belong to Christ, but they are not living like they belong to Christ. He said, whatever crooked paths they are walking, it will be found out. Proverbs 11, 3 says, the integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. Proverbs 19, 1 says, better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Oh my God. Better is the poor that walk in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. So those that speak uh, negatively, God calls them a fool. Why? Because the Bible tells us out of, the, out of our mouth of two witnesses, a thing is established. It also tells us that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So whatever is in our heart will come out of our mouth. And so it's important that we fill our heart with truth. We fill our heart with love. We fill our heart with compassion. We fill our heart with the things of God. The Bible tells us that we ought to think on those things that are good, those things that are lovely. Amen. And so it's important to God that we be men and women of integrity. Psalms 25, 21 says, may integrity and uprightness protect me because my hope, Lord, is in you. And so I truly believe and I always pray that I walk upright before the Lord, that I love and serve his people with a pure heart, with a heart of humility and a heart of love, that I be a gatherer and not a scatterer, that I be an encourager and not a discourager, that I be one who speak life and truth and not one who speaks death and division. So today, brothers and sisters, I encourage you, walk in your integrity before God and you shall walk securely. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cause his face to shine brightly upon you. May he lift up his countenance towards you. May he smile upon you and may he give you sweet, sweet peace. See you next week. God bless you. Remember, walk securely in your integrity. God bless you.